What's up, sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel, and it's time to give you my college football playoff week one projections heading into week number one of the 2023 college football season. We got some games coming up tonight. College football week number one gets underway tonight. Uh, we do have Florida taking on Utah tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern time, and then also we got Nebraska and Minnesota. So a couple of big-time games there coming up. Uh, tonight here for week number one of the college football season but really the season doesn't begin until about you know on that Saturday but we got some big time games coming up throughout the weekend and again you know these pretty much you know start tonight and then of course we head into the Labor Day weekend and everything so we got almost a really a full weekend of college football and almost a full week of college football but we're going to go ahead and give you my playoff projections heading into week one I wasn't going to start this series until about next Thursday uh, this will be a series that I'll be doing, you know, every Thursday for the 2023 college football season. Uh, we're going to pretty much, you know, update, you know, the playoff projections every single week by week. And I get, I just give you the top four teams that really performed well over the weekend and everything. So, yeah, this week one projection is going to be a really hard one because we haven't really seen these four teams that I have on here played a regular season game yet. But again, that's how the video works, and then I'll give you a prediction if these games were to happen this weekend. So let's just jump right into it. Let's get right into it here with our Week 1 college football playoff projections heading into the first weekend of the 2023 college football season it gets, as it gets underway tonight. And here is the bracket for the college football playoff um, for the 2023-24 season. The number one versus number four seeded matchup will be held in the Sugar Bowl. And then the number two versus number three matchup is the Rose Bowl. So they're kind of going back to the, you know, the first ever college football playoff back in 2014. Uh, the first, um, you know, college football playoff locations were the Sugar Bowl and the Rose Bowl. So they're kind of bringing it back, you know, nine years ago anyway. So, but let's start with the number one seed here for my projections heading into week one. And that obviously is going to be the back-to-back -back national champions, the Georgia Bulldogs. They do play this weekend. And um, they're not playing against a really good team and anybody in the Power Five. They're just playing an FCS school and UT Martin. So I expect Georgia to go out there and pretty much dominate on the offensive side of the football. Uh, defensively, I think they should be dominant as well. Uh, this Georgia team's got so much talent on both sides of the football. And I think this Georgia team has the easiest path, um, you know, to the college football playoff this year. Uh, we just have to see more from Georgia, you know, really to, you know, call them a dominant team. I don't think they're a dominant team as of right now. I mean, they haven't really played a game yet until, like, coming up this Saturday. Uh, we'll learn more about Georgia, though, in the next four weeks and everything. And once they play, like, a really good team, like maybe a top 25 team, for example, uh, we'll probably know that Georgia is dominant, but, you know, again, you know, their schedule really sets up nicely to have a really good season and also a really excellent path to get to the college football playoff. I mean, there's no question about it. Georgia, I think, has the easiest path in all of college football because if you look at the schedule, no real test on the schedule. Maybe besides Tennessee on the road, that's a game they could potentially lose, but I just don't really see anybody beating Georgia this upcoming season, the regular season. And like I said, I think they do have, you know, an easy path, but they do got some tough road games on the schedule. They got Auburn coming up, you know, in the month of September or maybe the month of October. They also got Kentucky at home, which I think Georgia will have massive advantage going into that game. And then they got Ole Miss. Ole Miss is another team that could probably sneak in there and probably give Georgia a scare, but I just don't really see anybody being this Georgia team this upcoming season. So Georgia is my number one seed heading into the first weekend of the college football season. Um, let's go. That, let's now go to the number two seed here. Um, it's the Rose Bowl. Who's going to be the number two seed here in the Rose Bowl game? That team is going to be Michigan. Michigan is my number two seed heading into the first weekend. Uh, I expect Michigan to dominate in the first four weeks of the season. Um, I don't really see any challenges, you know, in the first few weeks for Michigan. But then, you know, the schedule kind of gets challenging. I mean, they do have to play Maryland still, um, which could be a dark horse contender in the Big Ten this season. Uh, Michigan State, that's a team that I'm concerned about heading into this year. I don't really see that being a challenging game for Michigan. But if you look at their West schedule, they got Nebraska on the road, Minnesota on the road. Those are very two, uh, two very tough road games for Michigan. But I don't think they have an easier path than Georgia does. But it seems like they are going to probably not lose a game this year. But maybe their one loss could come to Ohio State at the end of the year. That's the one game where Michigan probably could lose. So... 
Again, Michigan and Georgia, I think, are both pretty similar in talent-wise. I think Georgia is the more talented team. I think Michigan is right there on their level. It just seems like when these two teams are at their best, they're just dominant. So, but we have to see Michigan play a really good team first in order, you know, for them to call a dominant team as well. We have to see the offense play a good team, like a good defense, for example. And then, of course, the defense has to play a really good offense. I mean, it goes for both of these teams with Georgia and Michigan. Uh, let's now go to the number three seed. Um, who will play uh, Michigan here in the Rose Bowl if this game were to happen this weekend? Uh, the number three seed was kind of hard to figure out, but I have to go with this team. It's Ohio State. Ohio State here is my number three seed heading into week one, but this 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 could change. I mean, this could change probably heading into next week in week number two. I have to see more from Ohio State as well in order for them to call me call them a dominant team. I know they're playing like an Indiana team that's I don't think really going to be all that good this year. I know Indiana sometimes is a really good team. They could be like an underdog going into that game, but I think Ohio State's going to take care of business in that game this weekend. Not saying they're going to win by a blowout, but. I just think, you know, Ohio State's really talented on the offensive side of the football. Wide receivers is huge for Ohio State. Marvin Harrison, probably one of the top receivers coming into the country this year. And this defense for the Buckeyes should be pretty strong. But like I said, similar to Georgia and Michigan, we have to see them play like a really good team. And they will get that in week number four on September 23rd. That's when they'll play Notre Dame. And, you know, that game is kind of kind of tell us if Ohio State's going to be a really dominant team or if they're going to be really able to make a run for the college football playoff once again this year. So, again, these three teams that you're seeing, Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, all have to play like really good teams in order for them, you know, for me to call them a dominant team all season. So these are my top three teams. Let's now go into the number four seed. Who will play Georgia in the Sugar Bowl here if this game were to happen this weekend? Well, the number four seed was honestly hard to figure out, but I think I feel very confident with this team heading into the weekend. I do have them predicting to win their game as well over the weekend, and that team is going to be LSU. LSU is my number four seed heading into week one of, you know, these projections and everything. And like I said, I do have LSU defeating Florida State. You know, I do have them predicting, you know, to win that game. But I think the winner of this game, you know, between LSU and Florida State will be my number four seed for next week in my week two projections. Like I said, these things could change heading into next week. I mean, we could really see, you know, both of these teams start to go back and forth a little bit. So LSU and Florida State, they will play this Sunday night. I mean, it really depends if that game is going to be played or not because of the hurricane coming in. But I do feel very confident that LSU is going to win that game. But like I said, LSU and Florida State, these are really two good teams. And like I said, the winner of this game will play or actually, you know, be the number four seed for me uh, next week. So these are my top four teams. Let's now get to the predictions here. If these games were to happen this weekend, uh, we first got Georgia and LSU here in the Sugar Bowl. Um, as of right now, I just think Georgia is just too dominant. I think LSU doesn't really have a good opportunity in this game if this game were to happen this weekend. But we have to know more about these teams until we get into the month of October. So as of right now, I'm going to predict that Georgia wins this game at least by maybe a couple touchdowns. I mean, I know last year LSU, um, you know, went with Georgia in the SEC championship. I just think Georgia is just way too talented. So I'm going to pick Georgia in this game if this game were to happen this weekend. Then there's Michigan and Ohio State. These two teams will play in the regular season for now. I mean, it's going to be a long ways away before we find out what Michigan and Ohio State are going to look like as well. Both of these teams, though, are pretty even. I mean, and talent-wise, they're both pretty even. And then offensively, I think Michigan has the better offense. And then defensively, I mean, experience-wise, Michigan has the more experience of a team. And for Ohio State, I mean, it's just really hard to tell. I mean, you know, Ohio State, do they have the talent to beat Michigan? Yes, they do. But it seems like Michigan has gotten, you know, Ohio State's number in the last couple years. That's the reason why they have beaten, you know, Ohio State in the last couple years as well is because of experienced players. So with that being said, as of right now, if this game were to happen tomorrow in the regular season, I would predict Michigan to win the game. So as of right now, I'm going to choose Michigan to beat Ohio State in the regular season, and I think they do win this game here in the Rose Bowl. So I got Georgia versus Michigan here, my first college football playoff projections in the national championship game if this game were to happen tomorrow. Uh, this These two teams met in a semifinal matchup, you know, a couple years ago, Georgia came out like the dominant team and everything. Michigan just came out really sloppy on the offensive side of the football. But I think if these two teams play tomorrow, uh, Michigan would definitely be better 
you know, on the offensive side of the football. They would definitely score points on this Georgia defense, or maybe it could be a defensive battle, but for this first weekend of college football, we don't really know about these teams until we get into about four weeks into the college football season. And with that being said, I think Georgia wins this one here, and I think they win their first, or actually win the first projection of these college football playoff, um, you know, uh, projections throughout week by week. So I got Georgia winning the national championship if this game were to happen, you know, uh, this weekend. But those are my um, college football playoff projections heading into week number one of the 2023 college football season. Again, we got a couple games, a couple big-time games coming up tonight. Uh, we got Florida and Utah playing tonight, and then we got Nebraska and Minnesota. And again, those are my college football playoff projections for week number one of the 2023 college football season. Let me guys know what you think about these playoff projections, uh, who you got as your top four as of right now for the season. And stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross Sports Channel.